welcome again to uh, Arthur Brown Photography. Uh, last time uh, I was talking about uh, using the, the rear filter slot in the um, RX 15mm lens and uh, showed some photographs where we put a um, three-stop neutral density filter into it. Uh, it's quite useful, that's fine if you want to just knock a few stops of neutral density off for um, uh, you know, video work or anything like that. But uh, if you want to use uh, um, something like a, a Liebig stopper uh, to do um, some fairly long time exposures uh, or you want to use graduated filters, then uh, you really do need to have the, um, the, the filters uh, in front of the lens rather than at the rear. Uh, and when I first got this lens, I thought, oh, fine, I'll be able to use my, uh, my uh, Lee 100mm uh, filter system. But in fact, uh, when I look at the, uh, the, the, the Lee filter, um, the, the aperture is actually slightly smaller than the, um, uh, the filter thread on the, the RX lens. And in fact, the, uh, the distance between the, uh, the, the claws that mount to the ring on the, um, the Lee system is, uh, is only just over 90 millimeters. Uh, and the RX lens has a uh, 95 millimeter um, front thread, uh, so this was never going to work. Um, however, um, I do post uh, some of my work onto, onto Flickr, uh, and I'm a member of a couple of, uh, of IRX groups on Flickr. Uh, and through this I was contacted by um, a guy in um, Vietnam, I actually started to make a, uh, a filter holder that holds 100mm filters, such as the, uh, the Lee filters, um, especially for the, the RX lens. Uh, it has a slightly um, larger uh, diameter aperture in the front of it, uh, obviously to uh, avoid vignetting, and it also makes uh, special rings which, which fit the, the 95mm thread of the RX lens. Right, screws into the front. And then the, um, the filter holder, which is a somewhat slimmer construction uh, than a Lee filter holder, but in fact is made of, of stainless steel uh, and plastic composite, which gives it quite a bit of strength. Uh, and that just slips over the mounting ring. And then we can take a filter such as a, uh, a Lee Big Stopper. Something like that. And that will fit in into the front of the lens, as so. The only modification I had to make to the uh, to the Lee Big Stopper was to, to remove the rubber gasket, uh, the foam rubber gasket that came that came, uh, at it, and it's just held on with a bit of um, uh, double solid tape, so it comes off quite cleanly. Um, and it seems to work fine. So, uh, in addition, of course, you can uh, also use um, graduated filters as well. So, uh, I've got some uh, some Kud filters here, uh, which are a hundred millimeter graduated filter. I just uh, hold it up to the light like that. Uh, and again, these fit quite comfortably into the filter holder. And you can put position that as to where you want the uh, the filter transition to uh, be across the frame. Um, this this um, filter holder uh, will actually take two filters as well. So, and it's made by a company called Bombo Photo, uh, and they're based in, in Vietnam. And I'll put a link to um, to their to their website uh, in the um, uh, in the section below, so you can have a look for that. Um, I think now we'll go out and take some pictures with it and see how it works. Right, the first of these uh, photographs uh, is taken with a Lee Big Stopper. Uh, it's at uh, Nampanton Reservoir and it was 121 seconds at f22, a nice bit of streaky Sirius cloud. Um, the next photograph uh, again was taken in the same location looking in a different direction uh, and this was 120 seconds um, at f22 and again we've got some nice streaks in the, in the high Sirius clouds. Um, photo number three uh, with the big stopper uh, is a, I've done this one in black and white because uh, the clouds were quite dramatic against the uh, the sky but this one was done at 30 seconds at f14 it's probably a little bit sharper actually um, 
going on to, uh, to some to some heavy cloud uh, with uh, some uh, some movement in it. Uh, this was taken um, at 119 seconds at f22, so you know around about the two minute mark, and showing a fair bit of movement in the cloud. Um, I took um, another photograph here looking uh, in the other direction again uh, at a similar time around about two minutes uh, 121 seconds at f22 and again uh, showing a, uh, a bit of movement in the cloud uh, and the last photograph here uh, was taken uh, into quite a bright cloudy sky uh, and this was using uh, an nd4 uh, graduated filter and this was shot at one hundredth of a second uh, at f5, but it does show that uh, th this works well with the with the RX lens without any vignetting. Uh, so uh, anyway, thanks for uh, watching Arthur Brown Photography. Uh, look out for my next uh, video, um, and remember, as you're watching, uh, can you like? Can you comment? And if you like it, please subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.